everyone. Okay, um, I just jumped on real quick to give you an update. The a few lenders started accepting applications on last Friday. What was last Friday? The fifth. Today is the thirteenth. Thirteen. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So last Friday, the 8th, a few of the lenders started accepting PPP, pre-applications. And I submitted a handful on last Friday. On yesterday, Tuesday, people started getting responses back from those applications. Monday, on the 11th, January 11th, the PPP uh, opened up in in um, all of the, well, m majority of the lenders opened their PPP. Um, they said that they were only funding community lending institutions, like lending institutions that service the low income areas. They're only, they were only opening that on Monday on the 11th. I mean, they were only funding for those banks on the 11th. Today, January 13th, they have opened it up to the rest of the lenders and they have also opened it up to second re, second draw uh, borrowers. Borrowers who have already received a loan today, they can apply for a second loan or they can be uh, evaluated and approved for a second loan. The lenders, if you already had a loan before, the lenders will need your loan number. The loan number is on your contract that you signed when you got your loan. So you need to log in to the lender's website and find your contract. Or maybe you can call the lender and see if they will give it to you over the phone not sure about that. Maybe if they can verify your identity over the phone, they can give you your loan number over the phone. If not, just log into your lender's website to get the loan number. In order to complete the application, you will need that loan number of your previous loan. If you don't have a previous loan, then you're good. Don't worry about uh, all of that. Also, for the PPP, it's good to have a voided check ready like you need uh, to get a check and write the word void across it from your checking account, personal or business account. As long as they can verify your account ownership, you should be fine. If you don't have any checks, you don't have a checkbook, try going into the website and downloading a direct deposit form that might work as well uh, in, 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 um, instead of the check. They need to verify account ownership, so you have to make sure you have either your direct deposit form, a voided check, they might accept, they might accept account statements as long as they have your name um, your business name address and everything on it if you don't have the voided check or the direct deposit form we can go ahead and submit the account statement and see if that will be sufficient because they have to uh, verify your identity your account ownership and your identity they will also, for the PPP, they will also need front and back copies of your driver's license or identification.
if they ask for anything else, just let me know. Just contact me, let me know what else they need. And I will help you out the best that I can. But so far, so good. I think they're just uh, processing and just trying to get everything lined up. There's a few more lenders I'm going to add to the list. I'm just going to check them out first. I'm going to try them out first and see how they respond to my application. And if I'm successful, I will add them to my list of preferred lenders. Right now, my list is very short. Very, very short. I just recommend MBE, Bank of America, and Cross River Bank. I'm going to see how it goes with Lindio. Lindio is not a direct lender. They, they just find you a lender. And then there's a, another one that emailed me called Ready Capital. Not sure about them either, but I have seen good reviews about them. If you know of any other lenders that are not uh, brick and mortar banks that can process these things really fast, just let me know. The reason I said not brick and mortar banks because the banks are very slow. The banks are very, very slow. And I, that's one thing I don't have is patience when it comes to things like this. I like the FinTech companies. F-I-N-T-E-C-H. If you go to the internet and type in FinTech PPP, then you'll find a lot of lenders that might be able to help you out. And they work really fast. And don't do too much uh, harassing, calling you and all of that. I like the lenders who just email, send an email, you email them back, then boom direct deposit hits okay I don't want any lenders calling me and trying to chit chat and asking me how's business going and all of that <laughs> but that's just my my thing I just I don't people notice I, I never talk on the phone I never talk on the phone like never maybe once twice a week okay but <laughs> I usually do not talk on the phone anywho Y'all holler at me if you need anything. I'm doing EIDL and PPP today. EIDL and PPP until March 12th. March 12th is the deadline for the PPP. December, December of 2021 is the deadline for EIDL. So PPP will not be open that long. So just... Um, now, don't quote me on that. I know March is the deadline for PPP. I, I believe it's March 12th. It might be March 14th. I don't know. But March is the deadline for PPP. December is the deadline for EIDL. So just uh, give me a call or email. SunnyDoesInvesting at gmail.com or call 682-251-0981 if you want assistance with those applications. Okay, I will hold your hand through the whole process and make sure that you um, have some success. Sometimes people are not successful. Um, sometimes they're not successful because they have a criminal history. Sometimes they're not successful because their credit score is too low. PPP does not pull credit. EIDL does pull credit and they require a, right now they require a 550. So yeah, we'll, we'll try to tackle any barrier that, that gets in the way. And hopefully everything will turn out fine. Okay. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.